Hello, I'm going to talk to you today about the A-level photography course. So, the photography course itself. Um, for this qualification, you actually um, have a knowledge or develop a knowledge of understanding the following areas of photography. So, we have film-based photography, which is actually using traditional darkroom techniques, uh, learning about digital photography skills, and also film and video that we touch upon as well. So on this course, you'll actually definitely be looking at how to use digital software in a more professional way. So how to learn the functions of a camera and how to use Photoshop, um, as well as actually getting you into our darkroom because in the art department, we actually have a purpose-built darkroom for you to actually make use of. You analyze and evaluate the work of contemporary photographers' work and you produce final outcomes, final pieces through digital portfolios. In year 13, you develop your skills and knowledge in a personal study that you write, and that has to be at least of one, at least 1,000 words um, on a theme of your choice, so of any areas of art or photography. Um, coursework is worth 60% of the final qualification, and 40% is actually from the final examination that you do in uh, year 13. The exam itself in year 13 is 15 hours long, it's over three days, but it's all practical based. So what skills do I need to show before choosing this course? So you should have achieved at least a grade five in either GCSE photography, an art-based subject or technology. Have a genuine interest in all aspects of art and design, okay? Can think obviously on your feet, are very creative in the way that you see things differently. Excellent at meeting those deadlines and also have aspirations maybe to go into the creative industries. So courses later on in life could include photography, film media, animation, um, or even gaming design. 